Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to work with planes. Planes are layers inside a form. A form has 100 layers. Whatever you put on plane 0 is visible in all the other planes. To exemplify this, I'm going to change our menu form. This will now be a login and menu form. To make it easier, let's start by renaming the planes. Double click on the form, access planes, and plane 1 is going to be the login interface, and plane 2 the menu. By default, all created objects belong to the plane 0. That's why the form title displays a 0. That's the plane where we are. Now let's move the menu buttons to plane 2. Select them, right click, move to plane 2. As you can see, apparently nothing changes except the form title. Let's move back to plane 0. Now we only see the controls at the top. These controls are still associated with plane 0. Let's move the left arrow to plane 1. Move to plane 1. Now we can see that the shape is always visible in all the planes, but then we only see what belongs to each plane. Now let's create the rest of the interface. In plane 1 we need a login button. I'm going to switch to the styles tab, drag an image button and define its name and text. We also need input fields. To create them, I'm going to drag the columns we need into the form. Expand the users table and drag the login column. Notice that Calypso creates automatically the label and the input. I'm going to do the same thing to the password. Let's also change this input to the password type. Our login plan is done, so let's move to plan 2, the menu. We still need a logout button. I'm going to copy the left arrow to this plane. Now we have two different interfaces in one single form, plane 1 and plane 2. The biggest advantage is the speed of moving between planes, but also being in the same form makes possible the access to all controls of the form, regardless of the plane where they are. The downsides are the more planes you use, the slower will be the loading of the form. Also, it's harder to understand the flow of the application. You should use planes if you have a straight flow, that is, if from one interface you always move to the other, like us, who from the login always move to the menu. Now, it's time to create all the necessary actions. Let's start by moving to plane 1 in the opening of the form. Actions. Go to plane, login, save. Now the login button. We can easily check the login with a lookup function. If there's a record on table users where login equals input login. and password equals input password. We go to plane 2, otherwise we'll give an error message to the user, let's say authentication failed. We can even clear the password field by setting its value to empty. And we can also set the focus there, so the user can simply start typing the correct password. Now the logout button. We want to start by cleaning the content of the login plane. So clear plane, login. This will remove all the data previously entered by the user. We need to go there, go to plane, login. And we can even set focus in the login input.
let's test the application. I'm going to input my login credentials, login, authentication fails. If I input the correct password and press login, we enter. We can even try to log out. And you can see that Calypso clears and puts the cursor in the login input box. Let's try to log in again and the authentication fails unless we input the right credentials. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about planes. See you on the next one.